Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video with this one, my friends. I'm going to be testing the GeForce RTX 1490 in Forza Horizon 5. This one is the Founders Edition model of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not overclocking it. You can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU-Z. Rebar is enabled. It has 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM, 16,384 CUDA cores. And over on the left, we're pairing it with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Let's get right into it. It, shall we? We're starting it at the 4K resolution, which is the most adequate res for a card like this, of course, and the extreme settings preset, MSA set to two times because that's the preset. Uh, TAA in this game actually looks better than MSAA, and I tested it in my Sunday video, uh, full review video. We're gonna roll with the preset, especially because TAA is still an experimental feature, and I actually saw a lot of people complaining about TAA instead of this, so uh, there we go. Here we go, let's start counting those FPS. Again, TAA, in my opinion, in this game looks better than MSAA, and if you want to enable it, you can expect like 3 FPS uh, lower. Yeah, it's actually more intensive in this one. Uh, actually, with MSAA set to two times, it just looks like the game is running at native resolution. Which is still amazing, we're seeing 180 FPS around here, that's completely insane. It's a high refresh rate experience, and I've already seen in that uh, full review of the 4090 that in the city area it also does an amazing job, uh, getting like 120 plus FPS at all times, only dropping in the tunnel, which is the most intensive thing in this game, by the way. Jeez, we're going really fast, 300 kilometers per hour with this car is actually super impressive. All right, come on, pretty good, pretty good. I'm not really sure if I'm going in the right direction, honestly. It's probably that way, yep, it is that way. <laughs> you know what, guys, at this point I am questioning myself, why am I gonna test this at 1080p resolution? I'm still gonna do it, but like literally nobody with this card is gonna play at 1080p unless you buy it in like five years time and it's a good, 1080p ultra settings graphics card for example <laughs> but yeah look at that by the way i haven't seen it I, I, I didn't notice this in the full review the cpu is the bottleneck in the city so the 5800x 3d is the actual bottleneck the card can do better in the city area wow that's crazy dude keep in mind this cpu performs around the same as a 12900k uh, so it performs around the same or slightly w slower than the 7000 series from AMD and the 13900K isn't even all that impressive from what I've seen so far so I, I might actually not upgrade this generation that's a big shame because I was looking forward to it but hey it's not needed if it's not needed it's not needed <laughs> but maybe it is because uh, t just to get those extra frames here in these benchmarks of the 1490 I don't know I don't know anyways that's it for 4k resolution 174 fps on average completely crazy stuff in this game it's super well optimized really beautiful one as well and let's go down to 1440p now we'll just need to resize this a little bit yep that's good all right 2560 by 1440 can we max out like a 240 hertz 1440p monitor with this oh boy it gets really close and to be honest, you cannot really tell the difference between 220 and 240 FPS on a 240 Hertz monitor. I actually had one and played around with it for a while, like I had it for what, six months or so. Then I got tired of it because 1080p resolution is just a little bit too low for me at least. Uh, and I bought the 1440p monitor, which is back there actually, 1440p 165 Hertz. Really, really good stuff. I think it's probably the sweet spot for gaming, 1440p. But with this card, the sweet spot is definitely 4K. Because as you can see, we're just driving around the city right now. And the GPU usage is at around like 90% most of the time. Sometimes it even goes down to like 82 or 81%. So with a slightly stronger CPU, maybe like Ryzen 7000, 13900K and stuff like that. Maybe even the 12900K. We could see like 200 frames per second in this one. But... Uh, yeah, not here with the 5800X 3D at 1440p. And I think 1080p is just way too low, so I'm not going to test that. We're going to go uh, right away for 720p, because that's where the competitive experience is at, right? 
<laughs> oh, this is just for fun, by the way. Nobody should do this, obviously. Let's go. 720p extreme settings. Just for fun. We're reaching 200. So sometimes you can see a little bit of scaling when you're even when you're CPU bound between the lower resolutions and the higher resolutions, even without the GPU being maxed out, which is kind of interesting, actually. I didn't expect that. Most of the games get exactly the same FPS when you're at like 4K and then you drop it down to 1080p and it gets like 40% uh, GPU usage, for example, with exactly the same FPS. But here at 720, it's getting like the 80% GPU usage again, going down into the 70s at times. But it still goes up to like um, 90%. Not very often though, and around here it's exactly the same as 1440p. So there's that. It's just slightly faster here. Very, very slightly, almost non not noticeable. But yeah, you can see that it didn't really reach 200s very often at 1440, and now it is reaching the 200s. Uh, just interesting behavior here in uh, Forza Horizon 5, but of course we're massively CPU bound, so let's move on to a non-CPU bound resolution. All right, we're gonna go up a lot. This is 7680 by 4320, and if you're wondering, that right there is uh, the same size as it was at uh, 720p, so yeah. <laughs> If I don't resize it, it looks like that. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead, turn this to the maximum. That's it. And this is 8K, basically. Let's go to the graphics. Extreme settings, MSAA two times. Didn't even need that, but it's not intensive in this game. And at the extreme settings preset, now this is exactly what I wanted to see. 60 plus. That is amazing, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, you can run this game at 8K resolution. Beautiful stuff. Also, not sure why, I'm starting to see those little marks on the roads. These black marks right here, or darker ones. This is so weird. Happens with a lot of GPUs. Uh, a lot of people told me it's because the VRAM isn't enough, but clearly it isn't that. It's something with the game itself. Because it's using only 12 gigabytes and a half of VRAM um, at the moment. Although the, those little things aren't really happening very often, so I'll let it pass, okay? <laughs> so even looking at the city from above, it only dropped to like 62, I believe. But now comes the real test. Inside of the tunnel, it doesn't drop. Oh my god, getting out of it, it doesn't drop either. You can have a 60 plus FPS experience all of the time, 100% with the RTX 4090, my friends. That's nothing short of amazing. This is one of the most optimized games in the market at the moment, especially probably the most optimized game uh, in recent years. And it shows right here. It's buttery smooth, even at this super high resolution. Uh, and it was even playable at 8K 30 frames per second on high settings with a 1080 Ti, which is already a five-year-old GPU, you know? So I was really impressed with that result as well. It was playable at 8K, the 1080 Ti. <gasps> On high, though. <laughs> this is extreme and it's way more intensive, okay? And it's still doing an amazing job. Absolutely stunning, this game like this. Holy. You know what? If you really want the best visual fidelity out of this game, and you don't mind 60 FPS, I think you should probably do this. Use DSR in NVIDIA control panel to set the resolution to four times your native res. And it's gonna look sharp AF, dude. This is incredible. Lastly, I just wanna check it out because I know a lot of people want to see it and I want to see it as well at 4K again using the maximum settings with TAA. All right, just gonna resize that again. 3840 by 2160, extreme. But now we're gonna do it with TAA instead of MSA. I'm not gonna put MSA on eight times because that's just stupidly intensive, okay? And again, TAA looks better to me and you can probably see it because I'm gonna render this at 4K and I'm recording at 4K as well. So this is it. Maximum settings aside from the AA, okay? Not the preset anymore, we gotta restart that, let's go. You can already tell that TAA in this game is great. In most games it isn't, guys, I will give you that. I know why some people might be upset <laughs> by the use of TAA in Forza Horizon 5. Th th this implementation is insane. 
in this game. All right, and uh, right away we can see that the FPS are about like 30 less than at extreme settings preset with the maximum settings here, but it's still buttery smooth anyways. Uh, should we try another car actually? You know what, let's try that out. Here we go, so we're getting around 150 around here and previously we were g getting like 180, so again we're seeing that 30 FPS difference in FPS. FPS, 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 left. <laughs> uh, what the hell is that guy doing? This is not online, by the way. Okay. Uh, also, I'm not playing online because that's a little bit more CPU intensive, and some people told me that... Ooh, uh, that was close. Why am I clipping through the cars? Do I clip through all of them? What? Where is the normal traffic? The heck? Why is everybody a ghost here? I don't get it. Oh, okay. All right, finally. <laughs> but as I was saying, I'm not playing online because that is a little bit more CPU intensive and somebody told me that you actually do get slightly less FPS in single player because there is more traffic around. So if you gotta render more cars, it will drop your FPS by just a little bit. I don't think it makes much of a difference, honestly. Uh, maybe like three or five FPS, something like that. It's almost sunset time, by the way. Jeez, if I'm just, ah, uh, this is terrible, terrible car, I hate it. I'm glad I don't have a Bugatti in real life. I believe I said that already in the previous video. Love my Toyota, oh yes. This eats a lot of uh, gas as well, so I'm actually glad I don't have it. If I had a Bugatti, I would just sell it to buy more 4090s to make an SLI video or something. <laughs> Actually, I don't think this supports SLI, but I'm not sure about that. So the correct sentence is, I would buy more 4090s because the winter is coming and I want to be cozy at home and, and warm, you know? This, with this power consumption, which to be fair, is not really all that high. The 3080 Ti on average in this game at least consumes more than this. Um, I can feel the heat. I can definitely feel the heat while making these videos. It's not just a joke, it's, it's really like that. The, the, the room gets way warmer when you're playing this game, or any game, <laughs> when you're playing games on the 1490. Also, did you see that? Getting out of the tunnel, it was actually CPU bound. So there's something weird going with optimization here in this game when getting out of the tunnels, but it's not really game breaking and uh, most people don't even notice it because it only happens for a split second anyways. So I guess it's fine. Overall, it, this is one of the most optimized games out there, as I told you already. And uh, well, that's been it, guys. 144 FPS on average, really insane stuff at complete maxed out settings and 4K resolution. NTAA. So yeah, again, if you have a card like this, you should definitely use it at 4K res. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely amazing experience every single time I play any game. So that's been it. I hope this video was informative and enjoyable to watch and entertaining and whatnot for some of you. Catch you guys in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.